tri-state nail salon owner finds himself in the middle of a firestorm that has nothing to do with him. Last week, you may remember, we told you how another nail salon owner allegedly tried to burn down a rival business. Now, some are confusing her business with this man's business. Local 12's Luke Jones explains how one word in a business filing made all the difference. The nail business can be tough as nails, which is why Hugh Fenn has worked so hard to build a loyal base of customers for his salon, Allure Nail Spa in Westchester. So of course we want to have a good image of them on my nail salon. But last week, that image took a hit. Some people assuming his business is owned by a woman named Kim Vu, who was indicted last week by a federal grand jury. Prosecutors say she recruited these two women to plant an incendiary device at Bora Bora Nails and Spa in Monroe. We had nothing to do with her. But if you look at business filings or a press release from the U.S. Attorney's Office, you wouldn't know that. The press release notes that Vu owns two businesses, Love Nail Vu LLC and Allure Nails Vu LLC. This is Love Nails and Spa, which Vu does own. But things get murkier when it comes to Allure. Technically, Vu has a registered business called Allure Nails Vu LLC, but it exists in name only. Fan's business is the only physical Allure Nail Spa for miles. It's registered as Allure Nails Ohio LLC. Foul tax every year. Last week, when news of the indictment broke, Fan learned about Vu's business for the first time. She even uses his salon's address. The story is that back in 2018, uh, she wanted to purchase this nail salon, but the deal didn't went through yet. For some reason, she go ahead and register anyway. Fan says it's too early to know if this has cost him any business, but he wants everyone watching to know. My nail salon had nothing to do with her. And that his nail salon shouldn't be painted with the same brush. In Westchester, Luke Jones, Local 12 News. Well, it turns out Fan knew Vu as a child, but he says they haven't spoken in years. He says he's good friends with the man whose business she allegedly tried to burn down.